Welcome to Monday Morning Wood, a weekly episodic program where you're going to see a real wood shop, not a set, where I take you through the build process of hopefully something new every week, talk about woodworking in general, and hopefully answer some of your questions in the future. Come on along, I can't wait to show you what it's all about. A couple of years ago, I left corporate America behind in the pursuit of finding true happiness doing what I love, woodworking. The entrepreneurial journey has been a challenge, but with the support of my wife and kids, we're making it work. I've decided that I want to share the very basics of woodworking with all of you, using as basic of tools as possible to show you that you can create custom pieces for your home as well. Follow along. I look forward to working with you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very basic entry bench using just one 2 by 10 by 8 all right, so here we're just starting out getting our measurements. I wanted to make this bench about 16 and a half inches tall. So being a one and a half inch thick top, we're gonna cut the legs down to about 15 inches. That being said, as you can see, with that circular saw, things were a little tough, so they had to get cut twice. The overall size of the, or width of the bench is gonna be about 30 inches. So we cut two pieces at 15 inches, one piece at 30. Then we sanded. I like to just kind of do a rough, easy sand, uh, nothing special or fancy, just to show what it looks like taking the weather and age off of the board. Here, I'm going to use a 1 8 inch drill to make pilot holes for the screws to go into that I'm going to use to attach. And we're going to actually plug these holes with dowels later. So I went in also with a 3 8 inch dowel uh, bit, or just a 3 8 inch bit. Here you see I'm assembling the bench. I used some glue, and we're just using some screws to hammer that in there. These are just 2.5 inch interior grade screws. You can see that the bench had a little bit of a wobble, so what I did here was take something like a half inch spacer and just mark uh, a line basically parallel to my workbench, so that way I can come in later and make a cut on that line. Here you see me making that cut. And here we're just filling those holes with the dowels. Nothing fancy, just some glue, dowels, and I have a, a small Japanese pole saw. Sanding those dowels down smooth so that way there's no visible bumps or anything for your clothes to get stuck on. I like to fill with uh, my wood filler. Um, there's a lot of checking cracks stuff like that in the in this uh piece of wood so i just went ahead and filled like crazy and soon you'll see me sanding as well and there we go just sanding off all the imperfections here you see i didn't like just having the open bench so i wanted to add some storage 27 inches i believe was the length for that so I went, I cut, assembled in the same manner, and now I'm staining. This is General Finishes Oil-Based Antique Oak. I'm a big fan of the General Finishes product line. Um, the fact that they're just down the road from me helps, but I like to support Made in America as much as possible. The stain itself goes on very, very smooth, very easily. And it has a relatively short cure time as well for when you want to start finishing it. Here we're hitting it with a coat of just a one can of Watco spray lacquer. You can get this at any of your home centers. Uh, I like to hit with a lacquer first to penetrate the wood and give it a little bit of protection. Then I go over it with a, in this case, oil-based polyurethane. And here's the finished product. 
It's nothing fancy, it's nothing special, and you'll hear about hear me talk about it here in just a second. Well, thanks for tagging along and making a bench with me, uh, or at least watching me make a bench. This was a very, very DIY tutorial. I wanted to do it without flattening lumber or anything like that, uh, though we could have. Uh, this is geared towards people who have minimal tools who really just want to get started. Um, so hopefully, you know, you learn something. Maybe you learned what not to do. Um, but hopefully uh, we can have some more fun building other things in the future. I look forward to it. Remember, play with your wood. All right, so I have a few questions I'd like to answer um, from you know people who submitted some questions uh, in preparation for this. Um, what skills do I need to be a good work woodworker? In all reality, none. That's why you start. Um, everybody starts from zero. If you learn along the way, that's the way that you do it. Um, I've had people tell me, you know, it's very easy to become YouTube certified and Google certified. You just learn along the way, uh, much like with this bench that, uh, you know, we just put together. Um, very simple, very basic. And as you find a need for something else, you go get it or, you know, you find a way to make it work. Uh, what are some of the tools I need to get started? In my opinion, I think you need a drill. Um, you could use one drill for everything, but I like to have one drill and one impact driver. Um, some sort of a circular saw. I believe you can do pretty much any type of cutting with a circular saw. Uh, and a sander, honestly. Um, that will give you the cuts you need, the, the smoothness you need, and you can, um, you know, move on from there. Uh, how do I cut a straight line? <laughs> uh, good question. I don't know. Um, not, not without assistance, at least. Um, I did make a video a while back about um, cutting with a known straight edge. That's probably the best way that I would be able to do it uh, without a track saw or, you know, something like that. Is carpentry the same as woodworking? Uh, yes and no. Mainly no. Um, Carpentry is making houses, uh, you know, it's framing, it's, it's a very broad term, um, you know, all the way down to your trim work, whereas I believe custom woodworking is more so uh, tailored to uh, fine home furnishings or cabinetry, uh, but even at that, cabinetry is still its own ent entity. Um, so I believe woodworking is its own thing. Uh, where you're creating something, uh, in my eyes, um, you're creating something that could be a generational piece uh, for others to see. Um, do I need to be good at math? Man, I hope not, because I'm terrible at it. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the simple answer would be, I mean, you have to have some fractional knowledge, uh, but you can figure it out as you go. Uh, it's it's very hard to come across uh, how to how to you know make a, a good fraction work, right? Uh, I'm terrible at it. That's why I try to stick to the the main uh, fractions. You know, your seven eighths, half inch, three quarters, stuff like that. Um, can I make a living as a woodworker? I'm certainly trying to. Uh, I started this business about two years ago now. Uh, it, it's certainly been a struggle, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm providing a life for my family that, uh, I think is, um, admirable. Uh, you know, I, I, the big thing for me is just to just stick to it. Um, and really just, uh, you know, just keep pushing. I mean, you can make a living at anything really. Um, why would woodworking be any different? I think you just need to find the market for it. Um, find your target audience and just grow your reputation as somebody who stands behind what they make. Um, and, you know, as your reputation grows, so will your customer base, so will uh, your ability to charge for your time. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm certainly trying to make it as a woodworker. 
uh, if you are considering it, I would love to see your journey as well. All right, so there you have it. The first ever episode of Monday Morning Wood is in the books. Be gentle with what you think. It's my first time doing it. Uh, I like to train and teach people and hopefully show people things along the way of what I'm doing. So, you know, I think this will be a good fit once I get a little more comfortable in front of the camera and uh, kind of learn to, I guess, write things down ahead of time instead of just trying to improv. <laughs> um, I look forward to making hopefully many, many more videos. I hopefully uh, get a bunch of comments from people like, uh, you know, questions down in the comments, stuff like that. And I look forward to putting more out there for people. Thanks a lot. Thank you.